I'll need you guys to sign a petition for this hair to be taken down. <sighs> I'm tired of having you see me the same way every time. So, but this is why I keep saying that please watch my ads to the end. Any advertisement that you see, any commercial that you see on any of my videos, watch it to the end. Except if you're in a case where it's so lengthy. Yeah, but you can allow it to run for at least, at least 50 seconds. That way YouTube pays me more and I get to have more money to spend on your behalf. Guys, it's not a joke. I'm not playing. If you watch art to a reasonable point, I get paid the more. And that way, I get to have more money. Look at me. I've been on this hair. Like, I've been with this hair or on this hair or with this hair for the past four months. And you guys are there. What are you there for? <laughs> well, you're not the cause of my problem. That is a joke. All right. So, welcome back to the channel. If you are a returning subscriber, Thank you. If you're new here, you are highly welcome. Today we are going to be eating another Ghanaian food. So guess what we are eating today? It feels like I'm not about to learn a learn because uh, I feel like it's so stressful to cook them. They take a lot of time and like I've told you guys before, it's always a turn off for me if I have to give so much time and energy and money on food turns me off except i'm selling it i'm making money off it but in a case where i have to spend the entire day in the kitchen just because i want to eat <sighs> it's not it's, it's not for me okay so um but that's not a problem dear future husband we can always work things out okay i promise i'm going to be making a lot of money on youtube that way we can get a cook mind you a male cook this is what we are eating and uh, what is in here is another popular Ghanaian dish this one here is okay hold on let me put it in my plate you can see the plate is empty and this is it I bought it from outside hey this is it Child. so this is watch you cannot tell me you've not had Gana girl I say, Gana girl I say, she won't marry me. I know say you, I know say you sabi kuke wache, cause you love the sweet like it you do. <laughs> so if you have not heard that song before, okay, it is not my fault. But if you have, this is the wache that Ron Town, African artist from Nigeria, sang about this food. Give it a hand of applause, guys. <laughs> Let me introduce all of them to you one after the other. This is brown rice and beans. And uh, yo, rice. This is um, plantain, fried plantain. And here is salad, vegetable. What is here? Spring onions, cabbage, carrots, and uh, a bit of onions. And here is the fish. And this food cost me a total of seven Ghana cities. That is like a dollar and a few cents. I don't know how many cents exactly, but one dollar plus for all of this food. Can you beat that? And here I have my water. Shall we? I'm going to be eating this food and also tell you guys about my Ghanaian man <laughs> I've been liking this topic a whole lot because it feels like people are shy to talk about it let me let me eat the food first I'm not going to be acting here I'm not about to pretend I have not eaten this before if I say that I'm lying I've been eating it before most of the time I've been eating it from the same vendor where I bought this from so it's really nice. I've been eating this food long ago. Even I think before I came to Ghana because in Lagos we have people, we have Togolese and Ghanaians that sells wache. I don't want to use spoon. 
this is not compulsory, but I feel like it's gonna be me. It's gonna help me to take total control of this food the way I want it. So people don't want to talk about this Ghana guys. Ah, my God. Well, sorry, oh, don't get mad at me, okay? But like I've been seeing a lot of people from outside of Africa, of different race, coming here to search for their future husbands or lovers. You may be wondering why? Why Ghana? Today I'm going to tell you why, okay? This is coming from the female Nigerian who have visited Ghana or who is currently in Ghana. I'm the best person to give you a review about this guys. <laughs> this is not because I've gone around trying to experiment them. Not yet, maybe, but I have not done that already. I have only had it with one. Please, if you know me before and you think I'm lying, don't leave me a comment. I don't want to know. <laughs> I've had it going with one, only one, oh, like the good get that I am. Now only one guy I've had it with. And we are so blessed with a beautiful baby. See, one thing about this Ghana guys that you don't know. Most of us back home, when they ask us, who is your dream man? What is your dream man? You hear my sister today? Tall, dark, and handsome. We are afraid to say rich actually because they will be persecuted for it and be seen like we like money too much. But yeah, we want a man that can offer us security, financial one. <sighs> so, somebody will tell you, yeah, I want him tall, dark, and handsome and God fearing. Or oh, more, for Ghana, all the guys, all the guys, they are all tall, dark. And handsome. Some of them, wait, let me eat this food because to a point I'll have to go and shower. Because when you start to talk about this Ghana chocolate, yeah, my mom is not gonna watch this, and I don't have a boyfriend, I don't have a husband, so nobody is going to call me to order. All my brothers and my big sis, please click out. These guys. They are not just tall, dark, and handsome. They have pink lips. If you see their shoulder and cock. <laughs> I'm that innocent girl that everybody like. Oh, this one. <laughs> they don't know me. This is why a lot of people that knows me one on one, I have refused them access to my YouTube channel because I'm a bad girl, but they don't know. So. These guys, they don't just have pink lips on top of the door, tack and handsome. They are sure that if they come more clothes, this one I have to use pigeon so that some of you will not understand. So that the level of sport in your head of me, it will be reduced. When my kids grow up to watch this video, I will private it. Thank you. Truth be told, the men in my country are very handsome. And most of them are so hardworking. They are ready to provide for you even when they don't have. They will go to any extent to take care of you. But sometimes you have to search to see the door tack and handsome among them because some of them are yellow. But in Ghana, you have to search to find the yellow ones. All of them, almost all, like 95% of them are all tall, dark and handsome. To be honest, I've not seen a short Ghanaian, a guy. No, this one, joke apart, I've not seen a guy that is short here in Ghana. But if you have seen, and uh, you can leave me a comment down below, okay? Maybe I'll, I'll meet him and film with him for you guys to see. Apart from Wodemaya, oh, Wodemaya is not a very tall guy, yet he's not short. So, my beloved, as, I, <laughs> as I'm telling you, for those of you that have not been to Ghana before, mm, there are men here, they are all tall, dark, and handsome. You have to search to see a short one among them. You have to search to see the yellow one among them. If you are somewhere in my country and you have been searching for... If you, if you don't live in Ghana, if you're not from here and you've never been here and you have been waiting for Mr. Tall, Dark and Handsome to fulfill your dream, my sister, go to the embassy. Find a way to come here. 
but one thing i want to tell you when you come you must go and learn the language otherwise don't say lily said oh also, i didn't tell you <laughs> you must go and learn three that way bro he will be relaxed with you this is not because you do not speak english you do they all do almost all of them understands english but my only problem with this tall dark and handsome guys is they feel more relaxed when you are a Ghanaian. Okay, if you are not a Ghanaian, don't be of a Nigerian um, descent. Just be a black American or so. I know you guys will come for me, okay? The thumb down button is not working. Please don't leave me a bad comment, okay? If you think I'm lying against you, it is okay, okay? <laughs> don't leave me a sort of comment. Just say, Lily, you are lying. I'll take it. They feel more comfortable with, with the women of their country. If you're not from here, just come from places like the States, United States of America. Yeah. So my observation strictly, this is my experience. When I finish now, some ladies will come and say, hey, yeah, yeah, my husband is from there. You are lying. I'm not saying, I'm, like I've said, not everybody, okay? So before you bash me, look at it <laughs> carefully. And I'm not talking about Ghanaians outside Ghana, the ones in Germany, the ones in the States, the ones in the UK, or even the ones in Togo or Nigeria. They are, they are, they are well travel enough to understand life beyond ethic and language barrier. So I'm talking about people I have met here that never traveled before. When you want to talk about something about a country, you always go deep inside the country and fish out. You don't go to the, the ones outside. So that is it. If you want to find your smooth chocolate, tall, dark and handsome, without searching from street to street, come to Ghana, you will find him. But you must learn three. You must learn the language. I don't know why I'm still trying to understand why that is I'm trying to understand why that is that is why hmm? you see a lot of people fly in from different countries different parts of the world come and meet their booze and sometimes the guys are so young and you see him with elderly white lady <laughs> Fear can't let me say that all. Oh. He's so gro like he's so cute, young with broad shoulder, pink lips, tall, dark. Of course, that guy is handsome. But you see the lady beside him, like sixty years old lady of another race. <laughs> I'm not a racist. I love everybody. <laughs> but like, why don't you go a little bit? You know, what are you looking for? Is it love or security? What? What is the problem? Yeah, this video is going to receive a lot of hate. I'm not surprised. Okay, so maybe I should just focus on eating this food and and, and keep hoping that I will find my own Ghanaian future boo. Hmm. So if you're in Ghana and you've not eaten this food. You are not in Ghana, please. Hmm? Because this food, a lot of people queue up to buy it. A lot of people queue up to buy it. And it's very healthy. It's very, very, very healthy. It's good. It's good for you. Brown rice. If you are looking forward to lose weight, this rice is very good for you. This combination, like this rice and beans, is really good for you. It's not heavy like the regular white rice. This is made in Ghana rice, farmed, no fertilizer, no chemical. It doesn't have any smell. It's just pure native rice made in Ghana here. Yeah, it's very healthy, okay? So if you are if you're looking forward to lose weight and you are here, you don't know what to eat, I highly recommend Wache. Alright? And then you can add a little bit of salad just like me. Look at it. It looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, instead of opting for beef, you go for fish or chicken. It will help you lose weight. 
I hope we continue. All right. I cannot finish this food, so I'm going to go offline and see if I can finish it, it to some extent and then cover it up or maybe so for another time. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.